This is the second in a series of videos I'll be doing over time to show you some tools that I use both in the research and development of my apps. The first video of this series I showcased an app called Braindrop.io that allowed me to manage bookmarks of sites that I use to keep my development knowledge up to date and to store ideas for future projects and videos. This video is on using an online tool. I use JSON files a lot if I want to store basic static data in my app bundle and load it when required into my app. This is often a very simple JSON object and I prefer that over using a plist as an alternative. The problem is that the JSON structure doesn't always meet my needs for every app. And the purpose of this video is to show you how I'd go about using an online tool to convert an existing JSON file to a format that you can edit with very little effort and then return the edited format back to JSON. And the same tool can be used as a starting point for creating simple JSON files. So if this is something you want to learn, then keep watching. Let me show you by example. This project that I have here is on my GitHub page and you can download it from the repository. This project has a JSON file that lists all of the countries in the world along with a two-letter country code and the country flag as a, an emoji. But it also includes an additional key that indicates which ones have Apple Store associated with them. The project itself is SwiftUI, but don't let that stop you from watching the video if you're not comfortable with SwiftUI. This video can apply to UI kit projects as well. The main objective here is to show you how to modify JSON files that you might use. I'm not going to go over parsing JSON as I have an entire series on that and I'll leave a link in the notes below. As you can see with this project, it just lists all countries and it has a segmented picker that allows me to display only those that are on the Apple Store. You can pick through the project at your leisure, but the main thing is that I want access to that JSON file. The basic JSON object right now has four key value pairs, name, code, flag, and app store. And the corresponding data model is this. In the project that I'm thinking about building, I don't want an app store key but I do want to have a key that will represent a region. So that will be a string. And I also want to have a key that would allow me to select which countries I want to have available in my project. I don't want to remove the non-used countries from my file because I may wish to add or delete countries as time goes by. It would just be much easier to have a Boolean for selected and just change that in my project file and update the app. So my new JSON object would look like this with the two new key value pairs and the model would have the corresponding region string property and the selected property which is a boolean. So now we can get to the whole purpose of this video. How do I take this existing JSON file and modify it without having to go into each object and add those new keys and values? And the key is this website here the convertcsv.com site. It has a number of different options, but the two that I'm interested in are convert JSON to CSV slash Excel and convert CSV to JSON. Let me show you how I use it. First thing I'm going to do is copy the JSON from my project, and then I'll click on the convert JSON to CSV Excel link. In step one, I'll just paste that data. I don't need to format it as JSON because I already had it, but it can do a nice job of formatting your JSON if it isn't pretty. I don't have Excel installed, so I'll choose to convert to CSV. Immediately our result data is shown, along with the ability to download it. But notice as well how you have a nice tabular format displayed. But let me download that result. When I open the file, it opens for me in numbers. I'll delete the App Store column because I no longer need it, and I'll add two more columns, one titled Region 
and the other selected. I'll start with selected and I'll auto populate it with a false value because I'll not be using most of these countries for the time being. In numbers, all I need to do is enter false in the first cell and copy it and select the remaining cells in the column and paste and it'll automatically fill with false. Now if my key value is going to be a boolean, you must make sure that you have every cell in your spreadsheet populated. Otherwise, you'll end up getting a null value. So now I can pick the countries that I want. First, let me sort my name, and then I'll just enter true into the selected field for those countries that I want in my app. Now this is a bit tedious, but I hope you see that it's a lot easier than trying to modify a JSON file. Now with my selected items, I can sort this column so all of my selected items are at the top. And now I can enter my regions. For example, Argentina and Brazil are in South America, and Canada is in North America. Eventually, I'll have entered all my regions for all of my selected countries. Now I want to convert this back to JSON so that I can use it in my project. At first, I thought that I'd have to save this file as a CSV file, but it's even easier than that. All I have to do is select the entire table, including my column headers, and copy it. I'll return to our website, but this time I'll select the second option, the Convert CSV to JSON. And I'm just going to paste the copy data into our input field. Now, it's clearly not comma-separated, it's actually tab separated. Nevertheless, this site realizes that and does the conversion anyway. Now I could have looked at the input options and specified the separator in, in that option tab there, but I don't even need to do that. It is, however, worth looking at the input and output options to see if you need some special data handling for your strings. You could even create your own template if you want a more complex JSON structure. But this is a very straightforward structure, so I don't need to do anything. The data is already generated in step five. Notice as well that if a value wasn't entered into a region cell in my spreadsheet, the conversion chose to convert that to an empty string and not null like it would have done had I left the selected column cell blank instead of entering the Boolean false. Now I can just copy from here and paste it, replacing my original JSON. Now, wasn't that easy? Working with JSON like this is super easy, and I encourage you to watch my series on JSON parsing. I hope you also see that you could have started building your JSON data in an Excel or number spreadsheet, and then just copied and pasted that data into the Convert CSV to JSON tab and have it create your JSON file for you. I hope you've enjoyed this video and have learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That will encourage me to keep on creating more like this in an effort to help new and existing iOS developers hone their skills and move on to the next level. I am most active on Twitter, so be sure to follow me there and get all the latest news of what I'm up to.